Hey guys, welcome to another video and today I'm going to talk about my 2014 reading resolutions. Now I've decided to keep my reading resolutions very simple this year in the fact that I am challenging myself only to read six books. Not six books total, but six books in particular. And that stems from the fact that my reading resolution is to read more big books. And when I say big books, I mean 600 pages plus. Now I have a lot of books on my shelf, a lot of them that I really actually want to read, but sometimes you just look at a book and you just get so intimidated by it that you just decide to pick up something skinnier instead. So I've hunted through my bookshelf for the books with the most pages, and they are going to be my target TBR for 2014. The first book on my 2014 TBR is Ilium by Dan Simmons. Now if you didn't know about this book, this deals with Greek mythology, which you all know I love, and it's actually a sci-fi retelling that uses the gods and the characters but puts them in space. This book is actually just under 600 pages, it's 580, but I thought it would count. I'm actually really excited to read this, and I also have the sequel, which is Olympus and is much bigger at 824. So my plan this year is to read both of these. It is a duology, so I know I can just finish the series straight away, and I'm actually really excited to read this, so why haven't I done it yet? The next actually kind of fits with the theme of Greek mythology, as I also want to read Helen of Troy by Margaret George. This is my ratty, tatty coffee that I found in a charity shop. Obviously everybody knows the story of Helen of Troy, the most beautiful woman in the world who started the Trojan War. So this book clocks in at 606 pages, and I won't lie, the font is uh, very, very small. This is actually a step up from the other Margaret George book that I've read, which was Memoirs of Cleopatra, and that book was actually over a thousand pages. I actually read that in two or three weeks because it was so good. So I hope to get the same thing from this one. And my camera fell. For the third book that I will read in 2014, it's actually an author who is already on this list, and that is The Terror by Dan Simmons. As you can guess from the cover, this book deals with an expedition to the Arctic Circle, as I think a lot of people, I think it's, yeah, 126 men travel to the Arctic Circle, they get lost, and I think this actually ends in a bit of cannibalism, I, <laughs> I want to say. I actually read the first 400 pages of this a good two or three years ago, but I didn't actually finish it because I think I went traveling or something, so I couldn't take the book with me because it was so big. This one actually clocks in at 800 pages. Oh, I think it is cannibalism. Dead people, someone eating them, maybe? I don't know. It looks a bit like a goth. Anyway, I am really excited for this, and hopefully I can get this done in 2014. For the fourth book on this list, we have The Stranger's Child by Alan Hollinghurst. I've never actually read any Alan Hollinghurst. I know he did uh, The Line of Beauty and The Swimming Pool Library, but I never actually read either of those. And this one has kind of been compared to Brideshead Revisited, which I like the movie version of that. I tried to read the book recently, actually, and I couldn't actually get into it, whether it was just my mood at the time, but I'm hoping this will be a bit easier to read since it is written in a more modern style. From what I can gather, this basically deals with the story between a brother and sister who both fall for the same man, I think? And obviously it's really British and it's set in a countryside mansion with a maze in the garden. Maybe I should fall in love with this man, is he rich? The fifth book that I have here is the one that I am most excited about, and it was actually my most anticipated book of 2013. I got it for Christmas, and I still haven't read it because it is so daunting, but it is The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. I really, really can't wait to read this. I'm gonna actually try and read this this month. This will be the first one of the books in this list that I tackle. It actually clocks in at just under 800 pages, and I won't lie, I do not know anything about the concept of the story, because Donna Tartt is one of my favourite authors, I really tried to distance myself from hearing anything about the plot. You know, if a review popped up on YouTube, I avoided it like the plague. But I am really excited about this one. The Secret History is probably one of my all-time favourite novels. It's a great mystery, and I'm hoping for the same from here. I know it's a mystery at least, so that's exciting. Very, very exciting. So that has been my reading resolutions for 2014. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like this video, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye!